good morning. Good morning, Rhoda. My name is Alan McLennan. It's so nice to meet you. Nice Your to meet presentation you. Yeah. just now was really fascinating when it came down to how you're approaching the marketplace with your um, technology as well as your offering with data, the understanding and depth of activity. Tell me a little bit about yourself real quick and where you're from. Yeah, uh, I work in TV2 Sumo. I've been working there for three years and as a consultant earlier. But I've been working mainly in uh, the cross-section between business, technology, and uh, customer experience basically in various industries ranging from banking to retail and now in the media industry. Mm -hmm. And so. TV Sumo is, a little, is, is an OTT service offering? Yeah, it's a part of the TV2, it's a media company uh, which started off in the, the 90s and now it's the second largest OTT service here in Norway after Netflix. Then I bet you you're probably very interested to see where uh, the, the big stick in the market of uh, Netflix hasn't been able to really penetrate the Nordic market like they have in the rest of the world uh, because of successful products and, and offerings such as TV Cinema. I, I think uh, we have called out uh, that there's room for both the local players and the global players. I think, uh, of course, Netflix is uh, huge here in Norway as uh, it's a great alongside, value. but I think uh, Norwegians are also very um, adapted to local content, uh, there's room for local players like TV2 and NRK, which is a free service. Right. Well, that brings me to the question, it's like, with that cooperation and um, uh, with competitors on many different levels, where do you see television going to be at in three years? Three years. Three years. Uh, it's a long time, but at the same time, it's not that long. That's because right. uh, the kind of the content production usually have a lead time about one or two years. So I think in one aspect, you will have a much more kind of what is live content and what is kind of video on demand uh, content. And the kind of the linear programming will kind of not be that uh, promoted instead of uh, you having OTT services like you can watch the, the game live or the game show live or you can have a catch up or an earlier release. So I think it will be a much more fluent uh, but gradual uh, transitions into more streaming, of course. Mm -hmm. Live streaming. And do you see that kind of a hybrid approach with television? Like there will be a combination of ad supported content with on demand content, all kind of all encapsulated in one bundle, shall we say? Yeah, I think you will, we will try to cover both the kind of the free aspect, uh, being a new site or uh, ad supported business models and uh, the kind of uh, premium service and also maybe uh, movie rentals and kind of ranging all the media uh, consumption. Yeah, no, Being a media that. company like TV2. Right, and you have a, a depth of and a library and a depth of uh, content that you can be able to serve up that kind of um, programming for your audience. Yeah, I think we have a good start, but uh, of course uh, the user consumes a lot, so we have to always kind of get the right deals and produce the uh, right content, but definitely we have a lo good local production as well as uh, many agreements with uh, ex uh, external producers and studios. And that would be cooper uh, cooperation yeah. with those external, being able to make your content available to them. So you're already doing that on many different levels mm. um, and opening the market and depending on the windows that the availability of that content is. Mm. And so in the long run, you see television becoming more um, of that kind of balanced approach when it comes to sharing content. And there's so much content availability. Mm. Um, you know, we've talked about marketplaces, we've talked about the availability to go and get, grab content from a programming standpoint. Are you actually doing that now? Yeah, I think we have to try different models uh, ranging from kind of uh, um, content uh, collaboration uh, with sponsors, uh, saying that uh, this uh, business is supporting the content uh, for maybe the, the free uh, tire. And uh, we can have premium productions in uh, cooperation with Netflix, for instance, uh, where we have uh, oh, the exclusive rights for Norway, but they can extend it to the rest of the world. So. I think the cost of production is so high that we need to cooperate in order to have uh, relevant content uh, to an affordable price. That is a very key point. 
the cost of production is extremely high. And so how do you really establish a business model around that for the development of, the product, of that content mm -hmm. and then making that be able to scale and di distribute out to many different um, um, service offerings. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yep. Thank you for, for taking Thank the you. time to talk with yeah, us. Yeah, super. Thank you.